Hello and welcome back, this is my second video in my House Create a Minion series and in this video I'm going to be doing the shirt and the pants. Okay, so jumping straight into it, what I'm going to do is select all of the faces that I want the shirt to cover. Um, actually look at this arm, that is terrible. Uh, let's begin with the arm actually. Okay, so I'll just add in a loop cut where I want the shirt to, the shirt's sleeve to end and then just um, line these up a little better. I'm dragging them of course using a double tapping G to slide. And then okay, so selecting this loop cut over here where I want the sleeve to end, I'll use control plus on the number pad sorry on the number pad. Number pad, number pad, not pad, number pad to just um increase the selection until I've selected this um the square over here, and then I'll deselect these. Um remember the point being to select all the um, faces that I want the shirt to cover, so that will be here, and I'll select those again, and deselect those. And then, once I have all of this selected, I'll use Control, I mean, sorry, Shift D to duplicate those, and then just hit P to separate by selection. And now that this is its own object, I can then modify, um, edit this to whatever we want our shirt to look like. So, yeah, I'm just going to scale these, uh, actually this whole thing. All these top verts, I'm just going to um, hit G and then Z to drag this down on the Z axis as well as these. And then actually I'll take these up. I'll make these about the same level as the sleeve, but I want this one to be just about flush with the sleeve. So to about there. Okay, so that looks good. I'll then, you can see I did something weird here, so actually I should scale this in a bit. Yeah. Just like this. so. Yeah, that looks right. Don't know about the clipping problem now, we can fix that later. But now I'm just going to select these top bits again and then to create a lip um, on the shirt, I'll just extrude this to about there and then extrude it again to about there. And then I'm going to extrude these faces. So I'll select this face strip using Alt and then right click and then E to extrude and then Alt S to scale on the normals just you know to about there and I can see we've created a, a nice lip around the around the top but I want to bring this down a little bit I want to create a nice slope going over there and then like that, that looks cool okay and then holding edge over here and here okay so I want to create a similar lip with the bottom and then the sleeve so I'll just go ahead and do that, and then we can deal with the clipping problem later. I want this sleeve to be a little longer. I want this to be a, a yeah, well-clothed minion. And then another lip over here, uh, about, about that size looks alright. And actually that's a bit too big. Yeah, about like that. And extrude that, Alt, um, Alt S to scale on the normals. Create a holding edge over there and a holding edge here and here. Okay, so how does that look? Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, so same thing with the sleeve, and then we can deal with the clipping problems. Actually, let's deal with the clipping problems now. Okay, so in order to deal with the clipping problems um, properly, it's actually not much of a clipping problem. As you can see, we're not actually experiencing anything over here, only over here where the sleeve is. It only looks like we're experiencing clipping problems um, at the front because when we're in edit mode, or sorry, when we select it. Um, it's just showing through some of the wireframe, but it's not actually, but we can still scale that if you like. But just to deal with the clipping problem over here about the sleeve, I'll select the main minion and then just bring in this, this arm a bit, because um, we're not going to be seeing that anyway, so I'll just bring that in a bit and maybe make the arm a bit smaller. Okay, then select the shirt, and then to get more of a realistic view of what's going on, I'll just select the shirt and then select this button over here. And then in edit mode, so we can now see the subsurf modifier. Um, this gives us a more realistic view, as I've said. Okay, so then we can just scale this down a bit. And this isn't acting like cloth at the moment, so in order for it to act like cloth, I'll just grab these at the bottom and then drag this down on the uh, z-axis. And then bring this out a bit. Just do something like this. And we can still smooth this out in the yeah, actually that doesn't look right, but we can still smooth this out once we um am in sculpt mode, sorry. Yeah, how does this look now? Yeah, I can see what's going on over here. Let's bring this out a bit. Yeah, 
yeah, just like that, and then I can fix that later on in sculpt mode once we start adding some adding not adding <laughs> adding some creases and wrinkles and whatnot. Okay, so I want to create a similar um uh, lip over here by the sleeve, so about that size is all right. Extrude Alt S to scale on the normals, holding edge over there, here, and here, and then we can just. Extrude this and scale it in. Alright, so that looks cool. It actually might be a little too much. Um, yeah, this is a bit too much. Uh, just select all of these and then. Wait, hold on, hold on. Alt S to scale on normals. Actually, that won't work. I'll just use um, normal S. Scale it down a bit. Alright, that looks, that looks cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the pants, and then once we finish with that, we can move on to sculpting some creases. Okay, so that looks like that's that for uh, for that. That had a lot of that's in that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay. So now I'm just gonna start sculpting in some some creases and wrinkles. But let me just take out my tablet real quick. So I'll pause for a second. Okay, so I've got my graphics tablet over here. And if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can use your mouth to do the sculpting. But it would be easier with the graphics tablet because of the pressure sensitivity. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is just select the shirt and then go into local view mode by pushing the forward slash on the numpad and this will then um, just hide everything else and only show us this shirt. Okay, um, I'll then just delete this subsurf because we'll replace this with a multi-resolution. So add modifier multi-resolution and then I'll just subdivide this straight up to where we to where I'll be sculpting the creases and that will be 4. And um, what's this now? Oh, this is because we haven't applied our mirror modifier, so we should go ahead and apply that mirror modifier real quick. So delete these um, multi-res, apply the mirror modifier, and then add the multi-res again. We probably could have applied it with the multi-res, but anyway. Okay, so now I'm just going to switch over to my pen and then go into sculpt mode. And the main brushes I'm going to be using over here will be... Actually, let's go out of local mode by pushing forward slash a um, uh, for slash again on the numpad because you can see we have some clipping problems over here because of the subdivision uh, the multi res sorry so using the inflate brush with a pressure of a uh, uh, very low um, strength about 15 we can just fix this clipping problem and then we can go back into local view when this is finished to sculpt in some of those creases not to worry about the back of the minion because well I can be seeing the back. I don't really care what the back does. So yeah. Yeah. Some over there and that looks good. Okay, going back to local. Um I'll use mainly the inflate brush and the crease brush. Uh, what's this modifiers? Oh I'm trying to go into I uh, almost went into dynamesh over there, but that's not what we want. I'm so used to going into dynamesh whenever I'm in sculpt mode. Actually, I have no idea what I tried to do there. That was weird. Um, yes, the main brushes I'll be using is the inflate and then the crease, and that's about it. But as is by default adding, so when I hold on control, it will subtract. Okay, so with the inflate brush, what I'm going to do is create folds that look like they're going towards the center, but um, in reality, I don't think they would because this looks like it would be quite a tight fit. But um, yeah, I'll just increase the strength but um yeah okay so just going towards the center and smoothing out the top and when needed i'll just um increase the bottom a bit and then it's going to like fade out towards the top so it'll get smaller of course and then i'll just do this on both sides just something like this 
doesn't need to be perfect, I'll try to go fast for the sake of the video, but um, you want to spend time on your, your creases and look at some reference photos as much as possible. Um, but I don't have anything open at the moment, but yeah, you probably want to get something open. Oops, that's clay strips. But um, yeah, this doesn't look so great compared to my last one, but I mean, my last one, this shirt was a bit bigger, so I had a bit more to work with, but I'm um, just smooth out this, it's looking a bit hardcore. But um, yeah, like I said, you want to get some reference images and um, take your time on this. I think that is okay for this video. Okay, so I'll do the exact same thing with the pants. Let me go into object, um, I forgot I'm in local mode, so uh, you can see I'm having some clipping problems over here. So let me just go ahead and fix that in sculpt mode. I'll just, um, what should I use? I use the inflate brush at 15 strength and then I'll make it quite big as well and just inflate the entire thing. Let's hope we don't have any clipping problems anymore. Yeah, just like that, okay. Actually, I'm not happy with this really. I want to, I want to make this, ah, stop going there. gonna work on this a little more. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so that's that. I think that looks alright. Um, yeah, and then I thought I would have um, textured the shirt in this video, but actually I want to do the main minion body first. So I'll just do a texturing maybe in one or two videos, um, everything, and then I actually forgot to model the hair, but that's okay, I'll do that at the end. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the rest of the series. And don't forget to subscribe, I'm going to be making a lot more uh, tutorial videos and some more um, longer courses where I'll put a lot more effort into the, the project. Um, um, not that I'm not putting a lot of effort into this, I'm just saying that it's going to be a bigger project. So um, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.